have you ever visited an online store and immediately felt frustrated? Maybe the layout was clunky, or the product images didn't load properly, or the checkout process felt like a maze. Truth is, bad design is costing your sales, but here's the quicker. You don't need to be a coding expert to fix it. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to use Bricks Builder to create a high converting WooCommerce store that loads fast, looks stunning, and sells more all without touching a single line of code. Let's dive in. First things first, let's make sure you have WooCommerce and Bricks Builder installed. Head over to Plugins, Add New, search for WooCommerce and install it. And next, install Bricks Builder if you haven't already done. Once both are active, let's jump into creating your first custom product page. Upon installation, WooCommerce creates these following new pages via the setup wizard, the card, the checkout, the my account, privacy and refund and return policies and the shop page. And if we create new pages that differ from the default pages or want to change what pages are used for things like card or checkout, we need to set those in the page setup settings. Out of the box, WooCommerce product pages look pretty generic, but with Bricks we can fully customize them. All we need to do is to go to Bricks templates and add a new one. I call it product page and from the right sidebar is select the, the WooCommerce single product. Once in Bricks builder interface, you will find the products category elements at the very top of the elements panel. It's always good practice to set the template conditions and the team styles and so easily find the settings and here you will find your theme styles and theme styles in Bricks Builder is a global styling system that allows you to define default typography, colors, buttons and other design elements across your entire website and so setting up theme styles is crucial because it ensures design consistency reducing the repetitive styling work and improves performance by maintaining an unified lightweight code structure and to add a new one you click on this plus icon you give it a name and then you start defining and to define the template settings, click on the template settings and here you specify the conditions. You are saying where do you want to display this template, right? And so make sure that the template condition is set to post type and then specify which post type. In this case is product. So you have a condition and from this drop down menu, Let's say you want to define to the entire website or just only for a specific page. And then to populate the content, you define it here. You select your product, you select the single post page. And from here, you search for your product. Let's say it's this one. Just click to apply and let's break through the magic for you. You will start designing by dragging, let's have a container, click on the plus icon to add a new element and next up let's add two blocks, go back to the container and set the direction to horizontal, cool, and now flow the, for the left block, you will add product gallery for example, you will add a new element, product title, Let's put also a short description, product price, product meta to render all the product details. And now I will show you how to display to the viewer the same category as a related products in this product page template. This is set beforehand in WooCommerce. Show you products, categories, when configure your products. In my example, I'm using the Udis category and I have four items. It only takes a few clicks. To do this is by turning on the query loop. The type is posts and the post type. You choose from this drop down list the products, WooCommerce products, and in the order is where you set to a random 
you set here the number of posts per page, scroll down until you find the taxonomy query, next taxonomy, choose product categories, the field is set to name and the term is set and you can do this dynamically and find product terms category UD. And so this is how it looks like my product page design and the related products is set to hoodie categories. To populate product details, I really recommend you use dynamic data. It's a quick overview by using the ACF plugin. I have a lot of tutorials showcasing how to use ACF dynamic data in Bricks Builder. Check the links as I have a lots of them and I use this all the time for my clients. So I have here a product detail a radio button where the field label is a material and the choices are cotton, linen and polyester. And by using dynamic data, you are ensuring automatic updates, consistency, eliminating manual edits. Plus it allows customization without coding. Let's have the ACF field add a new element, say a heading. I want to put it here, delete this and put it material. Then select the dynamic data, search here for ACF material. There you have it. The material is lined. Now it will auto populate product details on every WooCommerce product page. Now let's customize the shop page. By default, WooCommerce gives you a boring grid, but we can do better create a new template for a shop and use the WooCommerce query loop to display products dynamically. Let's go! The archive page is a special WooCommerce page defined as the archive page for your products. In order to be used for the shop page, you have to set the template conditions to target the shop page individually, like so. Bricks offers a highly flexible way to design WooCommerce templates. You also find a dedicated tab for WooCommerce integration in your Bricks settings. You will find an option to disable WooCommerce the Bricks WooCommerce Builder along for extras options to enable or disable the notice element, the checkout coupon, the checkout login and to input the field as quantity. So I drag in a section. Inside the section I have a container. Search here for brand cramps. Then I have the products. And here it comes my dummy products. By the way, the focus of this tutorial is to showcase the functionalities rather than the design styles. So make sure you stylize it based on your own needs. And so the products. This element is the main element to list products in a grid format. You can specify the number of columns. Let's put it three or two with a gap of 22. We have control to customize it and tweak the fields tab. This is the product content fields you want to show for each product. As an important announcement, Bricks released an article stating about the new dynamic tags available for you. Link in the description. And these new dynamic tags fixed the majority of compatibility issues between Bricks and third-party WooCommerce plugin. Plus, it also enhances the full flexibility offered by Bricks and we are allowed to insert these hooks anywhere. But keep in mind that whenever you use these dynamic tags in Bricks, you are automatically removing WooCommerce default actions. And each one has controls to define the HTML tag, the spacing and typography settings. We can rearrange the items display like so by dragging and dropping. And so we have full control over the design layout. That's pretty cool. And so so this uses dynamic tag and so it means that it will be updated across the shop page. Let's focus now on the add cart but button this element here to show you how to tweak the style. In here we find controls to make adjustments to the margin 
let's put here 40 pixels just to test and we have also controls on the typography but there is no option here to change the background color for this button how is this possible well remember bricks is a theme builder and so this means that these settings are all set in your global theme size appear within the WooCommerce button area here and so this is the exact spot where you define the padding let's put it 25 top button but you will find here an option to set the background color something like this and to define the border the radius border and by doing so we have stylized this particular WooCommerce button as a pro tip i recommend you use the lazy load image feature to speed up page load times and this is crucial for keeping visitors engaged and you can enable it up here let's talk about the most important page your checkout a messy checkout process kills conversions with bricks we can streamline it Customize your checkout fields, remove distractions, and that trust signals like secure payment icons. Studies show that a one-page checkout can increase sales by 35%. This is the default WooCommerce checkout page with two columns. We will get rid of this by creating a new Bricks template. So head over to templates, templates, add a new, call it whatever you want. I will call it checkout template. And on the right sidebar, you assign it to be used as WooCommerce checkout page. Publish and edit with Bricks. At the very top of the list, you will find the four Bricks Builder elements for the checkout the checkout coupon the check login the checkout customer details and the checkout or the review let's add the checkout customer details and the checkout order review and let's start to make the tweak so that the layout to make it cleaner and distraction free to clean things up look for the remove billing fields and we will remove things like the country, the apartment, the street address, click to disable. And this means we will have less friction. We will have more conversions. I went on and then I remove all of these billing fields and to the shipping fields. And to me, this is a fantastic feature to be able to disable all of these unnecessary fields, especially if you are working locally. You get the idea for sure. Let's preview to have a clear view of its appearance. And now let's view at the front end. Perfect. Before going live, always test. Try checking out on mobile, on mobile landscape and mobile portrait to ensure a smooth user-friendly experience. As a SEO plugin recommendation to optimize your site and if you care about being as lightweight as possible, go with the Slim SEO plugin. I made a free tutorial on this last week and this plugin is made by the same team of people that made the Matterbox plugin, so you can expect good quality. Don't use Yoast or RankMath plugins. The slim free version is very simple to use, practical and convenient. Check the link. In this segment, I will now explore two real world case studies. I will analyze their design choices, customizations, and user engagement strategies to understand how they effectively connect with their audience. The first one is this real estate site called Lux Reside. It has a clean and minimalistic layout with high quality images, responsive design for seamless navigation. As for customizations, it has advanced search filters, latest property listings and easy property submission forms. As for the user engagement, we can find clear contact options social media integration and intuitive navigation to enhance trust and usability. The other one is an agency website as design is sleek, minimalistic, 
branding with strategy imagery for a professional look. As for customizations, it has a clear service breakdown, structure, methodology, and direct contact. Options for client engagement. As for user engagement, it has strong call to actions for easy client engagement. It has informative content and accessible footer navigation to guide users effectively. Now you've got a fully customized WooCommerce store using Bricks Builder, but this is just the beginning. In my next video, I will show you how to integrate AI-powered product recommendations to boost sales. So hit that subscribe button and let's build something amazing together.